it is March 2023 and it's finally time to kick off my hiking season and I have a crazy goal for 2023 which is to hike 5,000 miles and the first trail I'm going to be doing is the Israel Trail. So I left rainy England, got on a plane and headed to Israel where I chilled on the beach for a week in Tel Aviv and then we got on a bus for six hours down to the south of Israel to Elat. And then we made our way to the start of the Israel National Trail. So the Israel National Trail is just over a thousand kilometers, so about 630 miles-ish. And we're heading south to north, starting in the Negev Desert. Ooh, we finally made it to the start of the Israel Trail. Hot guy. I thought this is the finish. It's 20 to 8 and it is hot. So this looks like the start. Got the Israel Trail colours here. And we are going up that. And the bags are heavy at the moment. We've got lots of water. We don't have too far to go today. We've got 10 miles. So it's going to be very hilly to get to the first night camp. Made it to the top of the first climb now and lovely views. Cracking view. So this here is the Red Sea, these mountains are Jordan and this is Alat. This is where we started. We just walked along the seafront a couple of miles and then this is the field school down here and the start of the trail. And that's Aqaba over there in Jordan and then off to our right is the mountains of Egypt just here and we're heading that way north into Israel. So so far we're only just over a mile into the trail but so far it's quite easy to follow. We've got lots of these little markers on the stones. It's the red, blue and white which is the the Israel trail markers, which symbolize the red is for the desert, the blue is for the sea in the middle part where you walk up along the sea a little bit near Tel Aviv. And then the white signifies the snow up in the top of Israel. They get quite a bit of snow in the winter. So that's what those colors mean. Down there. That was a long way down. This is so different to anything we've hiked before. It's incredible. But you gotta watch your step. One wrong step in you. You're off down there. Yeah. We found some shade. <coughs> Yeah, just uh, found some shade by this rock. And we're just looking at this. And you can see the trail there. It sort of wiggles its way over the mountains there. And there's no shade, so I take the opportunity, have a 10 minute sit down. It's 20 past 10 now. Um, we've only made it three and a half miles, so yeah. it's, gonna, it's gonna be a slow day on this first day. Okay. Oh dear. You all right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, just chuck that down. Just slide down. <laughs> There's a lot of scrambling here. So 
So the path's just taken us through this. It's called a wadi, which is W-A-D-I, which is basically a river, riverbed. And because we're in the middle of the desert, there's no river here at the moment. But I think when they get flash flooding, this uh, this would be a flowing river. Uh, it's stunning here and it's very, very hot. <laughs> surprise, surprise in the desert. You want a hand? No. <laughs> <laughs> Another climbing bit. Just take it easy, die. Oh, more climbing. You okay? Yeah, now we're... Look! Boom. Well done. And... Ready, Rob? Nice Found our first ladder. Oh, that's high. Just be careful, Di, that's like three stories high. Climbing out of the gorge. Jeez. I made it. Whew. So one of the things we're using for navigation is a guidebook and it has descript descriptions of the route uh, but more importantly it's got individual maps of all the sections so this is where we started down here by the Red Sea and this is where we hiked today all the way up and this is where we are now so this is the this is the trail, this is the border of Egypt, and then this is where we are now, this little campsite. So this whole area, this whole desert is nature reserve, and you're only allowed to camp in these little designated camp spots. But as you can see, there's quite a few of these little camp spots dotted, dotted along with the trail. There's one here, there's one here. So we have a little bit of option of where to hike to each day, um, just depending on supplies. I think that'll be all right, though. 